these light curtain system offer two uh, functionalities. The first and foremost function is the safety of the machine. When this Y axis or the RAM is going down in high speed, you break the safety light, the machine will stop. But the second function, which is a, spe is a fan speciality, you can run the machine with the light curtain. Uh, for example, if we have a simple piece or some, some small job, I can go in and I can leave the job on the tool. As I come out of the safety light zone, the machine senses that the operator is out of the safety zone and it will automatically cycle the machine. Uh, if it was a regular machine, any other hydraulic or hybrid machine, I have to keep my uh, job on the tool and I have to hit the foot pedal to cycle the machine, not in Safan. As I go in, I leave the tool, uh, job on the tool. When I come out, the safety light uh, senses that the operator is out of the safety zone and it automatically cycles the machine. And while the machine is going down automatically, the safety is still on. If you break the barrier, the machine will stop. All right, so on a regular hydraulic or a hybrid machine, when you're ready to do the production or ready to run the machine, uh, the operator goes in, place the, the job on the tool, and he knows the job, and then he has to hit the foot pedal to cycle the machine. The machine goes down, it stops, makes a bend, then goes back up. Whereas in the Safan machine, I can do this whole operation without using the foot pedal. To be able to do so, I can use the light curtain feature. Now what will happen, as I go in, I leave the job on the tool, and when I come out of the safety zone, the machine will automatically cycle without me hitting the foot pedal. The machine goes down, it makes a bend, it goes back up. You go, the operator goes in, take the old part out, put the new one in, and as I clear the safety zone, the machine automatically cycles. So you could be doing this all day without ever having to hit the foot pedal. When I do this again, and then the machine is going down, if I break the cycle, the safeties are still on, the machine stops, and goes up automatically. So the machine is fully compliant with the Z142 safety codes. It's completely illegal in uh, Canada and all over the world. And no one else has this feature. To resume the cycle, I just reset the cycle, initiate the cycle again, and the machine makes it another screen. After the machine is uh, stopped at the mute point, I can go in with the job. I can make sure the job is placed uh, on the right spot and then I can use the foot pedal to finish the bend. As I finish the bend and I come out to turn my job, to turn it or to flip it, the, the axes already move to the next bend and they're ready to go. And the ram is also moved down. If it was a hydraulic machine or a hybrid machine, this ram would still be sitting at the top position and I would have to hit the foot pedal. Uh, to bring it down to the mute point. But right now the machine is ready to go. Uh, that's the advantage of a Safan machine because a Safan machine always waits for the operator to go in and finish the bend rather than the operator waiting for a machine to come down to the bending point. Now again I make sure the parts in the right spot. I hit the foot pedal to finish the bend. After finishing the bend I'm flipping my piece. Once the the job is turned, the tool is already at the bottom point, at the mute point, ready to go again. Again, as I finish the bend, I come out to the safety zone, the machine automatically goes down to the mute point. So, you are never waiting for the machine. With this bend, after making this bend, I'm going to stay inside the safety zone. When you're inside the safety zone, the machine knows that the operator is breaking the lights. And the machine is only going to go down in slow bend, in slow speed. So I stay inside the zone, I hit the foot pedal, machine only goes down in slow speed. Once I clear the light, machine automatically switches to high speed. I don't have to change any switches or uh, setting to do that, machine does that automatically. 
Again, with this pen, I'm going to stay inside the zone. Machine only opens up enough so that I can push my piece in. And when I hit the foot pedal, machine goes down and so speed. After the bend is done, it automatically retracts. So now the job we just did, it's a 10 bend job. It, if we do this job on a regular hydraulic machine, it takes us about 85 to 90 seconds. It's not because the machines are way slower than the Safan, it's just how the hydraulic or hybrid machines are. But if we do this job on a Safan machine at a full speed, uh, we can do this in about uh, anywhere from 40 to 42 seconds. So that's what we're gonna do. So we're gonna do this job again in full speed.